What up, guys? And it's me right now, James Davis. Right now, in Tuna, and it's evening. Right now, I'm gonna play some Battle Royale. You guys. And I love chicken and eggs and dumplings. And turkey. And it's 7 21 this evening. Tonight, you guys, and I love lunches and I love chicken alfredo and everything. You guys, and I love my favorite fast food of the restaurant ever seen. And I love mac and Cheetos and everything. You guys. chances, especially in the Mahoney County area. We are seeing some of those showers on Future Tracker going to start popping up about then. Not going to be widespread, though, but we'll walk that out here in just a little bit. I land. A live look right now over YSU, and you can see the sun is shining, but it's not going to be doing that here. for much longer. Temperatures right now across the valley, comfortable to say the least. We're waking up in the upper 50s, low 60s land. across here. the area. So a comfortable morning if you want to get outside and get a dog Walk in before the rain really starts to impact our weekend. Right now, my radar just showing that we have some clouds that's been picked up on satellite. We are going to be seeing drier conditions as we continue on through the next couple of hours. So if you are going to get breakfast, I do ex I do expect it to stay dry at least for now, but I do expect by 10, 11 o'clock. If you're going to be out a little bit later, make sure you have rain gear with you as you are headed out for your breakfast. Now, as, we, as I was mentioning, we are talking about having a severe outlook today. I will have a one out of five here in the valley. So we're not going to be seeing this red and this orange. That's going to be those really elevated risks. Here at home, we're going to be under a marginal risk. So we're going to be tracking some of those conditions like gustier wind and hail possibilities and some of these showers and storms that may pop up throughout the day. So let me walk you through on exactly what the timing is going to look like with Storm Team 27 Future Tracker. As I mentioned, we're going to stay at least dry for the next couple of hours, but I do expect some of these yeah, showers and storms to start room. firing off as early as 10, 11 o'clock this morning. But not everyone is going to see that. As you see up to the north, some isolated showers in in Trumbull County. Mercer County is still dry at that time, so depending on where you live is really when these are going to start firing off. Then as we go through the afternoon, we come as a widespread, but you saw they moved relatively quickly out of the area. We'll have some isolated chances until the early evening where I do expect maybe to have another chance of seeing a severe threat of some thunderstorms. As we go into Saturday night and into Sunday morning, it's going to dry out, maybe an isolated shower at best, but we have that cloud cover tomorrow morning, waking up with temperatures in the upper 40s, mid to low 50s by the time we're getting to about 8 o'clock. And by the time we get into tomorrow, the risk of showers and storms will uh, move into our part of eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Storm Prediction Center has already put our area in the marginal risk, uh, meaning an isolated severe storm is possible. Now, the main threat out of the storms into tomorrow afternoon and evening would be strong winds on the elevated sector there. Uh, some hail, a possibility, and some brief heavy rainfall out of any storm that gets rolling as we go through the day on Saturday. Uh, but this evening, I do expect dry weather as we get into future tracker and temperatures uh, settling down through the 60s by 11 o'clock. Uh, early tomorrow morning, there's a small chance of a stray or an isolated shower through the early morning, but a Better chance of some showers and storms trying to push in late morning into midday. It all depends how these can hold together uh, moving in from the west overnight into the early morning. But the risk is there uh, for showers, scattered thunderstorms, and then I do expect a little break 
early afternoon before the next round moves in on into later tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And these storms can be stronger, uh, again, with some gusty winds, some hail, and some brief heavy rainfall, a possibility right into tomorrow evening. And then that threat will move out for the rest of the night and watching for some fog to get out the door Sunday morning. Otherwise, Sunday is looking like a better day. And we'll break into some sunshine through the afternoon. Very small chance an isolated shower storm pops back up later Sunday afternoon. But a good chance of both rain and thunderstorms moving back in Sunday night into Monday with those showers trying to linger into early next week, including your Memorial Day. 59 tonight, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, the risk of showers and storms increase as the day goes on. We'll get a little round later morning and midday another yeah. round later tomorrow afternoon into the evening and there is the chance of a strong or severe storm as the day goes on now going into sunday most of the day it does look dry but showers and storms move in late into sunday night and monday and those can bring down some heavier rainfall with them too on into your memorial day on monday highs in the upper 70s a risk of showers or a thunderstorm and then turning cooler with the chance of showers hanging on both tuesday and Wednesday, but then some nice weather moving in late next week. Yes, cool for this time of the year, but mostly sunny skies next Thursday and Friday with highs in the upper 60s to around 70. Well, this morning, most locations are seeing cloudy skies and cool temperatures. However, in a few isolated spots, there have been some uh, heavy, heavier snow squalls that have allowed for some a light snowfall accumulation. Now, here in Warren, they're not one of those locations that have had one of those snow bands. Just the green grass, green and brown grass, and the cloudy skies, like I mentioned. But I continue to show the only weather camera here that has any snow at all, which is here at the Lake Club. So this is what can happen in these snow squalls that can put down uh, some accumulation snow pretty quickly and if it gets on the roadways obviously it does not take much snow uh, to start causing some issues on the roads temperatures are in the low to mid 30s but under the snow band temperature tends to drop at least a degree or two and that is going to be enough uh, for there to be some light accumulation you can see the snow band kind of continuing it is uh, starting to weaken in intensity there right along i-76 but still watch out for a few slick spots as you're on your way to work this morning uh, looking at the storm team 27 regional rate are by far the heaviest snow still located out in the northeastern United States. We're not seeing any of that here in the valley, so that is definitely uh, some good news. The Storm Team 27 Future Tracker shows winds out of the northwest over uh, the valley throughout the day today. That's going to keep temperatures down in the mid-30s for a high, but later on tonight, the winds will actually switch directions here, and they'll become out of the southwest, which will lead those temperatures. Uh, they're around uh, 28, 29, 30 degrees. We will see some clearing of the skies as well, and that's going to help those temperatures really start to ramp up some uh, by tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we'll see some high temperatures tomorrow in the low to mid 40s. So there is some warmer air and some more sunshine showing up as we head into the day tomorrow. As far as today's forecast goes, though, temperatures around 35, 36 degrees for a high. The chances of precipitation start to dwindle later on this afternoon. And once again, could see some wind gusts out of the northwest around 20 miles per hour. Now, there is going to be some dry weather this week. High pressure actually sinks down into sort of the central eastern United States. And that is going to keep not only the valley dry, but you can see here by Thursday night, there's really not much precipitation any at all other than down there in Florida, east of the Mississippi. Mississippi, only storm system in the United States that'll be worth tracking this week will be the rain, thunderstorms, maybe some snow up there in the panhandle of Texas. And the future rainfall definitely reflects this. Not much going on here in the valley. Pretty incredible to see actually just how dry it is going to be here this week. Uh, we don't normally see that many dry days during the month of December. So the seven day outlook shows mostly sunny 45 Tuesday, around 40 degrees Wednesday. So it will be a little bit cooler on Wednesday thanks to a cold front. Notice some cold mornings ahead Wednesday night into Thursday Thursday night into Friday that's because we're actually seeing some clear conditions in the valley it allows us to cool off more but Friday temperature back up to 50 degrees those temperatures look to stay above average there as we head into the weekend upper 40s to around 50 with some areas of clouds moving into the, to our area the rest
rest of this afternoon, though, it's dry for us. Just some clouds around. Uh, temperatures climbing into the upper 70s. Heading out to the Columbia Street Fair or anywhere this evening, the weather looks just fine. Temperatures falling out of the 70s into the 60s. And then the rest of tonight, mostly clear skies. Want to watch for fog again early tomorrow morning and then through the day tomorrow. You can expect just a, a few high clouds around, mostly sunny skies into the afternoon and evening. And that is great news for Friday night football across our area. So the rest of today, 80, partly sunny. Tonight, uh, looking for clouds to clear out. 57 is your low temperature. And tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, low 80s. I love tomorrow this evening, Friday night football looks just fine. Mostly clear skies, temperatures falling out of the 70s into the 60s. And here's your weekend forecast, including that YSU game Saturday afternoon. More clouds building in, low 80s. The chance of showers and storms will sneak in especially late Saturday into Saturday night and Sunday, and those showers and storms stick with us through early next week as temperatures stay cooler with the rain around mid-70s Monday and Tuesday, low 70s on Wednesday. Well, hello everyone. I am meteorologist Adam Clayton here in the Storm Team 27 Weather Center, bringing you an update to your yeah, forecast on I'm this really filming a beautiful doors. Sunday, beautiful Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. I do. We can go ahead and start off here by looking at the Lake Club right now, and it is absolutely gorgeous at the Lake Club. Uh, lots of sunshine. There are still a few more clouds around uh, this morning than what we've been seeing uh, the past couple of days, but right now it looks pretty good. Uh, and I'm filming this right around 10 o'clock, so typically temperatures already starting to warm up. Notice that the airport observation is at 71 degrees. When you see this temperature map, when we show it, uh, the airport observation is typically uh, the one that updates first. So it's up to 71 degrees already at 10 o'clock, and soon these uh, other temperature values will begin to update as well. The current radar this morning only showing a few of those clouds passing uh, from southeast actually to northwest. Very unique uh, flow of the wind today. That's because of a storm system down to our uh, south and east actually caused the National Weather Balloon, National Weather Service balloon from the National Weather Service in Pittsburgh to drift all the way over into, uh, all the way over into Columbiana County yesterday. Now, looking at the national radar, this is a storm system I was talking about that's bringing uh, some light rain showers in parts of the Carolinas, some heavier rain there on the outer banks, and then uh, further into parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, West Virginia, even into southern Ohio a little bit. You can tell we're sort of on the northern edge of this here in the Youngstown area. I can actually zoom in a little bit. There's going to be a few more clouds around today. You can see those passing through the Pittsburgh area, and there's just a very slight chance of an isolated shower or two, although I think most locations are going to stay dry. Here's a future tracker for today. By 3 o'clock, temperatures already in the upper 70s, and we'll watch those temperatures rise into the low 80s. Partly cloudy skies still. You'll notice a few of these light uh, green blips showing up on the future tracker. Uh, that is what could be uh, some very light rain showers. However, I think those are going to struggle to reach I the ground. I love strawberries. Uh, Maybe a little bit of oranges. Location picked up any meaningful rainfall today. Um, perhaps a sprinkle or two, but nothing that's going to ruin your day or anything like that. And that chance continues later on tonight, but eventually the clouds clear out. Temperatures drop down into the mid-50s. Then as we head into the day tomorrow, tomorrow is shaping up to be warmer than what was expected yesterday. Could see some mid to upper 80s for tomorrow with lots of sunshine. So today's forecast blending ahead high temperatures in the low 80s partly cloudy skies just that very slight chance of a rain shower should be another really good day out there now going back to monday that storm system is going to stay off but further off to our south and east than expected and so we're really just going to be on the outer edges here of just some clouds looks like it's going to be a little bit more sunny than what was previously expected that's going to lead to some warmer temperatures uh, than was originally anticipated that's monday afternoon there just a few high weather clouds precipitation staying off to the south now speaking of rainfall well it has just been an interesting month for sure the first few days started off with kind of a bit of rain with those cool temperatures since then we've had 16 days of dry weather and that's seven days in a row we're probably going to make that eight days in a row at the Youngstown Ward Regional Airport look at this I love for a normal down here you guys. almost two inches this time last year we had 4.2 inches of rain at this time, and right now in May of 2023, we only have about 1.3 inches. Uh, 
Uh, so what is the rest of the month going to hold? Well, uh, probably not much in the way of rain. High temperature departure from normal math is also very interesting. Started off the month, of course, very cold. And then since then, we've had 16 days of above normal temperatures. Of course, nothing uh, is above normal or cold there at the first of the month. But we are going to start to warm up a little bit as we head into the work week here. We're going to say hello to summertime uh, weather across the valley as well. So, uh, high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Average high temperature around this time of year is 75 degrees, so nearly uh, 15 degrees above average for this time of year as we sort of uh, start to head into the first of summer. And this is a future rainfall map here, and it looks very, very dry. Rain north, south, east, west of us. Uh, this is through Saturday afternoon. And this model has no rainfall, so you know, the stream flows are starting to become decreased a little bit. I wrote a story about that today. You can go check that out at WKBN.com. Seven-day outlook here shows high of 87 tomorrow. If we hit that, that will be the warmest day of 2023 so far. 84 and 85, respectively, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, back into the upper 80s before we get back down to about 85. Notice those low temperatures Thursday night and Friday night. That's around 60 degrees. That means the dew points are going to be a little bit higher, uh, so it's going to feel a little bit more summer-like out there. So great weather for the Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Like Mercer County in a winter weather advisory as we await this system uh, to come through the valley. I've been watching it here, kind of passing through Kentucky, West Virginia, into Ohio, where you can see Ohio is dealing mainly with snow and Kentucky, West Virginia, dealing with the wintry mix and rain. As this is pushed into Ohio, this is developing more into snow. So as we talk about this with Storm Team 27 Future Tracker, note that we are going to be seeing mainly snow with your precipitation here today, even though some rain and wintry mix is passing through on Future Tracker. Definitely expect more of the snow variety of precipitation. We should be getting a break from the snow for a little bit this evening. Isolated showers and flurries will be possible heading into the overnight before the snow chances pick back up again. Going into tomorrow morning, expect scattered snow showers throughout your Sunday. Once again, showing up as some rain on Storm Team 27 Future Tracker. I'm expecting more snow with all of this again because of the colder temperatures as this moves through our area. Going into Sunday night, again, a few isolated chances for a shower or a flurry. By Monday, we'll dry things out heading into the start of the work week. Let's talk snowfall totals. Give you an idea of where some of the snowfall is going to be more prominent and less prominent. We have a dividing line right along the U.S. Route 62. If you are north and west of U.S. Route 62, look for about an inch to two inches of snow today. If you're south and east of U.S. Route 62, two to three inches possible there. Elevated areas may even see a little bit more snowfall than that. Going into Sunday and then into Monday morning, a much more, uh, excuse me, less significant amount of snow is expected. Only about an inch at most light coatings on yeah. top of what we get today when the snow comes through tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm going to be in this right now, and we'll see you guys this evening tonight. Yeah, and I'm out. Peace and over now, and I'm out. Peace.